Hello, hello everyone, my name is Tustra and welcome back to my Jewish campaign. So, I skipped ahead, I think, just two turns. And what happened? Well, the Frankish decided that they were gonna commit the navy, which previously were protecting their capital. So, we'll see what happens when I ultimately crush them. If I crush them, which I really should. In other news, I decided to merge these armies together. Unfortunately, I didn't realize I would merge several Huskals together, and that means that I'm now the one Huskal down. But no matter, no matter. So we are still staying here, stabilizing it just a bit, and at the same time I am recruiting at least this, and maybe just a bit more, to try to take this settlement, which seems undefended. I might be wrong in that assumption. But yeah, as it stands, it seems, well, seems like it's not defended at all. So, why do I really bother with the soldiers then? Well, it still has a garrison. So yeah. And uh, yeah, that's about it, I think. Oh yeah, I also researched the technology I was researching. Nothing really major. It was only... What was it? It gave me like... Minus 10% cost... For stuff. Oh, yeah, the, the minute I start talking about it, of course it starts to actually get a reasonable uh, garrison. Oh well. Also, what were the Franks doing up there? They knew they couldn't kill me. They knew I was gonna send my enemy in my navy out of them. But they had to have, have assumed that. Then again, maybe not. I don't know. Uh, 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 illegitimate birth. Oh dear. Another one. <laughs> also, I had to take a loyalty uh, decision. And that turned out pretty well, didn't it? So yeah. Going well, all things considered. And... Can't you... Can't you be loyal, for God, God's sake? Can you please just have sex with this guy? Or you have sex with this girl and not any others? Because I'm, I'm guessing this is... This should be the offspring of my heir. Uh, annoying, but uh, not really uh, that much I can do about it. I guess I could divorce them. And then try to get a replacement. Uh, meh. I don't know. So, yeah, they retreated all the way back to their capital. So, I will now do the same. And... How many thinks that they will do the exact same thing? Hands up. Yes. You and me both. Anyway, this, this army is ready to move out, so should I actually move out with that army? And then leave this army to actually hold the fort. I think I'll do that. And this army is maybe a bit missile heavy. But all things considered, it's it's an okay army. Yeah. So I'll do that next turn. Because right now it's winter. And I am not the faction that gets winter attrition bonuses. Or I don't suffer the debuff. Oh. Are you going to go that route? You're gonna be annoying twats. Well, sure thing. If that is your best interest, then go ahead. By the way, where are we going to? Doesn't the bit that you're going for Hafen? Or Hafen? But you're most likely going for that. And probably just for raiding. So yeah, my navy will be uh, sent out and try to deal with that. Hopefully it's on my capital. But on another note, on a side note, it means that I left that city completely undefended. So I might uh, actually get to stick to my original plan. Oh, never mind. They actually had another army waiting for me. Isn't that great? Anyway, let's see what they do. At least now I have my navy down there. Your orders? 
Oh, the city is growing quite large. Nice. Oh yeah, I can expand it if I want to. But I don't think I want to. Not yet, anyway. Not uh, when I don't have that much income. And, well, my money could be spent elsewhere. So, let's move these guys out a tiny bit and have these guys take over. And yeah, that should be enough, along with the already... Well, the both for garrison, that should be enough to stop any potential attacks. Anyway, let's see what our chances are. Oh yeah, so these guys are gonna reinforce me. And reinforce you, are they? Yeah. Yeah. Well, apparently those aren't, but these guys are. No, never mind, they aren't at all. These are just the, the garrisoning troops. Don't mind me, I'm just over here being wrong. Uh, so do we go for this? I don't know. Well, these troops are... they're defeatable. Uh... I don't know, I think we just... I think we just start to siege them, basically. And I guess that might prompt these guys to return. And that will definitely be... be a force that I can't fight with. Uh... I don't like this, but let's go for it. The option is to try to fight a battle right here. Are you kidding me? How many freaking armies do you have? You can't support that many armies. It's impossible. The AI is blatantly cheating. And now my main army, and really my only army, is going to die because the AI isn't handled properly. Like it's it cheats. It gets too much money. <laughs> Look at this. They are supporting. Let's see, four armies. Not four full armies, but let's say three full armies. It's still ridiculous. They, as far as I know, they have two regions. Yeah, explain that. How do they support four armies? Full, well, three armies, three full armies, on two regions. I have... Let's see, I have three regions, now I have four regions now. And I can barely support this army, and like a third of another one. So why those guys are able to do so, and I am not, I have no idea as to why. I guess uh, one thing that you might consider is the fact that some of these units are rather crappy. But not all of them. You can see they have onagers, and these guys, I think they're the equivalent of these guys. Uh, oh well. By the way... Am I gonna risk that? Uh, I don't really want to. But I... I, I tested something out in the Western Roman campaign, not the Western Roman campaign that I'm playing currently, but I just um, started a new one, just to check uh, some stuff out, and I actually got in a battle where I just ended the battle right away. I accepted the battle, um, I think I had an option to flee. Okay, so that's probably it, but yeah, I had the option to flee. Uh, but I didn't choose to take that, and when I entered the battlefield, I was like, okay, I'm not gonna fight this anyway, I changed my mind, and then I clicked, like, end this battle, and I didn't lose anyone. I had zero casualties, and of course the enemy had the same. So that was very, very, very weird, I haven't seen that been done. And this is the best of my knowledge. I can't remember that happening in any Total War game. So that was very, very interesting, but it might have been since I hadn't fl uh, fled yet that turn. So, who knows? Anyway, yes, we do have these uh, wolf coats. So hopefully they will actually be useful this time around. Yeah, they're still light melee infantry, so I guess I shouldn't be expecting too much out of them. Anyway, for these guys I definitely have a quite a... Uh, quite the... Um, quite the anticipation. I guess I've already used them, but not in an open field battle. So yeah, about the cavalry. Um, I think we actually do play some here. 
Just try to ambush uh, the ones we get the chance to ambush. And then we have this warlord, which is our heir, right? I think he's our heir. Oh dear. He is going to die. Oh yeah, and I like how he actually resembles the guy. That's quite nice. Anyway, these guys should be on fire ammo. And so should these guys, actually. Uh, and I would like to have like a slight health advantage, but this is not really an advantage, and it's only going to make the combat awkward. Actually, do a bit like this. There we go. There we go. Let's start this thing. So yeah, this is definitely not an army I can like raid with cavalry. They have too many spears for that. Light spears though, but... Are these actually medium, medium spears? But yeah, I am heavily outnumbered. It's not even funny. Yeah, I'm... Uh, basically what I'm hoping for is that their morale is so crap that this is still a winnable battle. But, nope, I don't think so. Anyway, no need to drag things out for that reason. So, let's -a go. We have sighted the enemy. Oh, I didn't have them in. Whoops. That was a mistake. Mm, should I try this? I'm gonna get cut to bits here. I don't want to rush for the onagers either, even though they are definitely not well defended. Uh, let's send out one unit. The AI is not smart enough to think that hey, he might have more units hidden in there. At least I'm guessing. Guessing he doesn't think that way. And actually, if you are very, very cynical about it, he already knows that I'm there because it's the computer. And it's controlled by the game, and the game knows that, well, there are units out there. Yeah, if you could actually hit something, that would be very, very nice. Do you have cavalry? No, but you do have war dogs. If that actually matters. Look, units. Oh yeah, of course you're protected by the... the Nordic Warlord. Well, at least we took some of them out. I'm probably gonna get absolutely mullered by these guys. Well, pull back then. Well, at least this is making it so that my... Well, these guys are not getting to use their onagers just yet. Come on, take care of them. Shouldn't be that hard. Although you don't have that many men left. Well, at least... Oh, they actually broke. Yeah, they're probably gonna return though. But it made it so that uh, at least they <laughs> will have a harder time. They have a harder time operating. That was what I was going to say. I was kind of occupied. My thoughts were elsewhere. Oh, after I sprung the ambush. That's not really a shame. 
And apparently these beamen are holding very well. And that is very nice. Entire unit has perished. Yeah, that's the cavalry. And I do have another one. But, yeah, I don't see any decent targets here. Like, obviously, uh, great targets. But I, I think I better get this guy involved before I lost this battle. Basically. Yeah, you don't have the packs already. Well, that's gonna be your own fault, isn't it? Is this a friendly fire hit? No, it probably isn't. Probably like skirmish units, like this one. So yeah, we are doing relatively well, but they do have so many men that is probably not going to matter. No, 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 on the other side, they have lost well over a thousand men now, and I've only lost 300, okay, it's a bit more now, four or five hundred. Oh, I somehow got these guys involved in that fight. Well, these guys got themselves themselves involved, really. And yes, I do still have these guys, so... Yeah, let's send them in. Let's break him. I think I need to form a line a bit here. I'm so absent-minded sometimes. Like, yes, how these guys run away from the danger? Oh, what's that? I'm just gonna stand here and wait for them to get hit by the danger. Yes. Probably the cavalry. No, it wasn't. Somehow. Although that means that another valuable unit has decided to run away. Probably the spear. Yes, indeed. The spear units. There we go. Run away. Be gone. I like this. It didn't take that much damage, but I do like the fire effects. Yep. Not looking that good. At all. Oh, <laughs> still more reinforcements. Yeah, look at that. So bad. And I, I should um, mention again that even though it says enemy men still remaining, 3,000, it doesn't mean that I have killed 2,700. So the enemy won't have lost 2,700 men. So we will have done some damage to these armies, but not as much as this count would have you believe. And there goes my ballista. And all of those arrows, and they took one casualty. Yeah, I can pretty much see the Vita. So, that was pretty terrible. Well, there's not too much you can do about the cheating AI. Just play on the easy difficulty then, and don't have to compete for that, I think. Fall back. I'm not intending on doing that, though. Okay, so those guys will have to be sent back and replenish and get new troops. Well, at least on the bright side, I guess my, my income has uh, shot up again. 
but uh, yeah, th thankfully we do have a bottleneck in the, the uh, in the Jutland Peninsula. So unless they decide to be navies, which I wouldn't recommend up against my navy, uh, unless they do that, then they have to like f funnel in through this. So basically, we can see what the dangles are doing. Pretty much that. So let's give these guys some choice units and then rush up again. Hopefully, I have, uh, I still have my uh, my axemen. Yep. So, oh, oh, it was actually my faction leader. Oh, okay then. And this guy has terrible loyalty. Hmm. Yeah, secure that loyalty because it's horrible now. I know one of the only options I have for an heir. A legitimate heir. I would prefer for them to be legitimate, but if that isn't possible, well, there's not really much I can do about it. Oh yeah, this is the surviving army. So, not a single axe man. Well, I did get a few archers. It's better than nothing. Cavalry? Mm, I don't know if I really need that. But let's get it anyway. Actually, just get everything. And I'll get back to the capital. So, 3,077. So what do we do? Get a few of these, and then a few of these. So if I do like this, I think this fleet is definitely good to go. And definitely if we have to fight more armies that decide to be navies for some reason. I think that is a good idea. Uh, so do we do we want to like get more defensive units? I don't really know I don't really think that we do need that unless like five armies try to pile on us at the same time. Which very well may be possible. So I guess I should get Ah, I don't even have archers. Ah, uh, I don't want to use the tra trail skirmishes either. Hmm, I guess they're better than nothing, because they're actual javelin men. So let's get a few of them, and they're... Uh, and they're very cheap, so I'll have to give them that. And yeah, I don't want to get uh, even more Nordic spearmen. I think, I think that is enough for now. So yeah. We are in need of recruitment. Oh, Nordic Axe Warriors. Nice one. So they are... Let's see, if only I could get like a stat. I can see the stats immediately. Missile damage? Really? So 90. Anyway, I'll, I'll take the, the most important stuff. So, uh, attack, 48. D uh, damage, 56. And defense, 10. 48, 56, 10. So, 48, 56, 10. So, those guys are definitely a lot better. So, I would say that hmm, they are a bit cheaper, but not that much cheaper. So, I might not... I might not think that they are really worth... Well, with the... I don't think they have the stats to match that price, basically. At least compared to the, the Royal Huskals, or Huskals, just straight out Huskals. Uh, so, uh, maybe some hidden men. Maybe. They have decent stats. Melee like defense, quite decent. Yeah, they're, they seem to be a pretty well all around unit. For 350. Let's get a few of them. They seem to be the, the standard sword inventory. And then, do you want some axes? I don't know. Definitely want to arch. <laughs> uh, voice crack, always funny. 
At least in my opinion. If you can't laugh at yourself, then uh, what can it really be? Anyway, uh, this part has gone a bit over time. I still have the, the internet problem, so... This is still gonna be a bit short of a part, even though I now have gone quite over time, so it's... <laughs> a bit shorter time than it usually is. Just a bit. And when I say usually, I mean half an hour. But anyway, I will end this part here, and I hope you did enjoy it, and I hope you will come back to see what happens in the next part, probably having to defend against the Angles, and maybe the Saxons. And if they decide to come all in at once, that will definitely make for an interesting battle. So yeah, that is it for now. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.